Hey everybody! Well, today we're going to take a look at another one of these fun little robot kits that I managed to find on Amazon. Now this is Zivco the robot. <laughs> now he looks very similar to that blue one that I built a while back. I think that was by a company called, uh, oh what was it, Thames or Thames and Caicos or something. I can't remember the name of the company. Uh, very similar looking robot because this whole six-legged configuration is exactly the way that one looks. So it's I don't know, they're probably maybe the same company, by a company called Alenco, and everything snaps together, I think. Uh, you'll, you might be able to uh, screw some of this together. So it has interactive, it says interactive robot, build it yourself, 100 plus parts, infrared sensor, two modes, um, follow and explore, AI artificial intelligence. Now, I will say that a lot of this stuff is saying AI nowadays, and I think that term is being used rather loosely these days. Uh, you know, artificial intelligence, when they say things like that for stuff like this, it just has sensors on the front. I think if you put your hand in front of it, it'll stop. It's almost like a bump and go type of thing. And then they call that AI. So, uh, like I said, I think they use that term a bit loosely these days. But here is the back. All kinds of stuff going on here. You can see you get to build all of this. And when I built that blue one, it was a lot of fun. The only problem with that blue one is about after maybe... A dozen times of turning it on and playing with it it just it just went it just broke um as far as like the circuit board or something i turned on the power and the lights came on for the eyes briefly and then it, the whole thing just died so something <laughs> the whole circuit board just died i don't know what happened to that thing so unfortunately that ended up being a bit of a loss maybe i just got a bad one um this one here doesn't really look like it relies too much on a circuit board so much because it doesn't have as much functionality as the other one did because that one had some app controls on it here you can see all the different parts on there. See, look at all that. We'll take a look at the parts. But it's very cool. I just like the way he looks. I really like his, his eyes. They look really neat in there. And I had so much fun building that other one. So I think this will be a, another fun build. All right, let's take a look at the parts. Okay, so here's what we get for the parts. So there's two parts trees of yellow. This looks like the main body section here. So just like a regular model kit, you'll just snip the pieces off. Make sure there's no burrs left over. That's, or that's the legs right there. That's really neat. I had so much fun building that blue one. So I'm sure this one's going to be the same. Looks like uh, similar parts that I'm seeing in here for the legs. Like these things in particular, I remember. I remember the core of it. So the bottom part's going to be very similar to that blue one. The top head piece will be different. Oh, that's the head right there. That's what I just realized. There's some nice clear bits in here. They're kind of like smoky gray clear for the uh looks like the eyes for sure and then here are the hardware components so we got some gears in there some screws some rods a whole bunch of gears a whole bunch of screws too there's two motors to this and it uses four triple a batteries so that's really neat oh, i like those that's really nice okay and then we also have the circuit board which is right here it looks like there's some LEDs on there. Oh, that would be for the eyes, because the eyes light up. All right, well, this is very cool. I guess I'll get started on it. If there's anything interesting along the way of the build, I'll cut in and show it to you. Okay, so I just want to show what's going on on the inside here. So these are the two halves of the motorized section. There's a lot of gears in here. Now, um, this one here, there's a bunch of gears underneath this as well. And there is a motor down there. that plate. I already put that plate on. What was kind of interesting is you get this little black piece right here. And what that does is it fits on that orange gear right there. And see those little notches in those gears? All this is there for is to make sure that you get the notches in the right spot. Because these things sticking out on the end right there fit in there. And then once you get everything aligned properly, you just take this off. And then everything's aligned. So I thought that was kind of a cool little tool that they put in there. And then you got to make sure these screws are in all the way. Sometimes it doesn't feel like they're in. So you have to kind of make sure they're screwed in all the way. And then this is the other half. we got all these gears going on. So there is two motors to this. So there we go. That's very, very cool. I'm guessing one's to go forward or backward or something. I'm not really sure. But so far, it's going together really good. I Just like the last kit, uh, the Blue Robot, um, this is a really fun kit to put together. It goes really, really nicely. Uh, just assembles really nice. All right, so I have got the main body all put together here. And then we're starting to put the head together. This whole module here for the eyes was really cool, putting that all together. You got the little lenses in there that fit 
onto the, uh, they're just kind of like in between. There's the circuit board. There's that big lens that goes over the whole thing. Interestingly, there's two white pieces of paper that go behind the eyes. I'm guessing that's for diffusion, possibly. There's some sensors down here. I, think, uh, I don't know if those are lights. They might be lights, too, but I think there's sensors for sure. And then here's where the back is, and you can kind of see how that all kind of fits just right. I mean, they got a space for all the wires to go. Same for when you're putting this together. There's uh, little slots where the wires go in there. It's very cool. So, I, I mean, it just goes together so good. These kits are very well designed. All right, well, get, so we'll be uh, putting the batteries in next. Okay, here he is all built. Oh, boy, I like this robot. I like it a lot. I think it looks really cool. Like I said earlier, uh, this does resemble the whole bottom part. It resembles that blue one, but the whole top section is different. Now, this one, I think the reason I like this one, it's a little less complicated. Uh, I think the blue one had an app to it, if I can remember. And this one is just a simple thing. It's got sensors on the front right here, and it either de it just detects your hand in the front. You can play two different games with it. So you can do uh, one where it'll, he'll follow your hand, or you, he'll uh, go away from it, like a bump and go type of thing. And so I like it. It's just got two simple functions while he walks around. The eyes are really cool looking in there. It's like maybe I got something in there. I'll have to kind of check that. Um, and then his arms are movable, just like the blue one. You can kind of move his uh, arms this way and this way, the elbows. And then also his claws, you can turn those. They don't open though, but that's okay. This was really fun to build. Everything went together really good. I don't, uh, I, I don't know if this is probably from the same company, but they just go by a different name. But the way everything fits is really nice. And the way the wiring is in there, I mean, they kind of, give every place for the wires to go and same where, where it goes up into the head down into the body. There's a space there. That's kind of like the back of one of the motors right there, but it's just well engineered and it's just a pleasure to build it. You don't have a whole lot of issues or problems with it. Okay. Well, let's turn them on and try them out. Okay. So I turned the lights down a little bit so that we can appreciate his eyes. So this is the power button right in here, right between his eyes up here. When you press it once, that turns them on, and I think that turns them into the mode where he'll follow your hand. And then if you push it again, that uh, makes it so that he'll try not to bump into anything. And I think the third one, if you press and hold it, turns them off. And then I think if you leave him alone for 30 seconds, he'll turn himself off. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> okay. Now let me hit him the button once here. I like how cool his eyes look in there. So he, he does that to let you know that he's waiting for you to play with him. Okay, now let's see if he's gonna do the following. So now see, he'll follow your hand. Let me see if he sees it. You can see how he turns his, his body. It works really good. He kind of loses it there, I think, because of the white background. Yeah, and I like how the top of, part of his body turns. All right, so let's, <clears throat> let's do the other one now where you want him to avoid everything. I love that. That is so cool. Okay, now his other eye lights up, and now he's going to go into walking mode, and then he'll try to avoid anything. See how he turns away now? And he walks really good. <laughs> so it looks like he only turn. oh, he does turn different ways. I thought he was only turning, I thought he only turned, uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh, I almost lost him. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I don't know if he'll see that background. Oh, he does see the background. Good. He walks very good. And he walks pretty quick, too. Those six legs going on. The motors are a bit noisy. 
And he, I don't know if he works on carpet. I'll have to try it. But, okay, let me turn him off here. Whew. Boy, it's hard to keep up with. All right, I like it. And I kind of like the retro beeping that he has. It's kind of like... Uh... Oh, this is kind of different. It looks like he's just walking backwards now. All right, so maybe he's got another mode here. I thought there was only two. Okay, let me push this again. That might put him back into the mode where... Okay, no, that puts him back in the first mode. Okay, so then to turn him off, you press and hold his button for three seconds. <laughs> it sounds like a retro 80s video game. That's really cool. All right, well, I got to say, I really, really like this robot. I mean, look how cool he looks. I like the color of him. I like the way he's styled. Um, I definitely like this one better than the blue one, especially since I told you earlier that blue one just kind of crashed. I don't know what happened, but the circuit board just burnt out or something. I don't know. I turned them on, his lights came on, and then nothing, absolutely nothing. So I like this one. is more simple. He doesn't have a, an app. You just play with him, which I like. Very fun to put together. I spent uh, several hours putting them together. Everything, no fighting with anything. Uh, the gears are color-coded in the instructions, so you know which ones you're supposed to put where. And uh, I love the way he walks, and I like his retro sounds, too. So very cool. So uh, he retails, well, I got this for $36 on Amazon. I think he's normally $55, but hopefully you'll still find him on sale. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to get this little guy. Uh, this is not a paid promotion. I have to always tell uh, everybody that because I think a lot of people think I get paid to do these videos or I get these items for free, and I don't. So uh, I buy these with my own money. So this guy is called Zivco the Robot. It's by a company called Alenco. And uh, if you want to get them, I'll put a link in there. All right. Well, this has been fun making this video. I hope you enjoyed it too. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. So thanks so much for watching and have a good one.